first episode of the day and on this one we are talking about sad news and uh it is from td jake's daughter who has just filed for a divorce to her husband and uh she did so on an instagram post which actually she posted and i'm gonna read that particular instagram post to you and also i will tag it along to particular other subjects around the subject of marriage and people that either went through or filled the application and the application did not go through in that particular space. It's the reality show with daily Christian commentary videos, other episodes that are done today, they'll be posted later on in the evening. This is a morning episode. The particular two stories that I'm going to take it along, it's one particular post that was posted by National Scoop about a couple which was doing their vows. The lady made a request for a song which was very weird. The husband said, no, I'm dipping. And also the lady that stole 4 million, yeah, the boyfriend has been interviewed by Sunday Times and he made a statement about that as we go on here. Now, let's start first with uh, T.D. Jake's daughter. T.D. Jake's himself, he kind of makes a lot of, you know, uh, talk about the right person, meeting the right person and all this kind of stuff, discernment and what, he might teach all these things. And yet, uh, this is the situation his daughter finds himself with. Uh, his first, his other daughter, I don't know if his first or second, Sarah, actually married. And they started a ministry with her husband. And uh, they actually had to abandon the, the, the church building and turn the ministry to an online thing uh, full time. She is a, a fun pastor, according to her Instagram. I don't know what that means and a spiritual advisor right and in the particular post that she made uh i think about a few hours ago it says it is with a heavy heart that i announced that my husband and i decided to divorce this is a very pr uh, private and personal matter and i kindly ask for your prayers as i prioritize myself and uh most importantly my children's well-being at this time which has caused a lot of people to think that there was a lot more that the man might have been maybe or what he might have been doing or whatever the case might be over there in that particular case i do know that i think they adopted their kids i can't remember exactly and so i don't know if mandam was there doing funny weird things or anything like that but um Larry Reed actually mentioned that there were some very weird dodgy stories coming particularly from this actually uh, actual divorce and that might have been the reason for which in a Christmas post on her Instagram page you see only her and the the kids uh, without thing and in this particular post she says she's she, she has to prioritize herself most importantly her kids at this particular time particularly their well-being and so it might not be the well-being uh, thing, but the well-being around him particularly. And speaking of people being around him, remember the lady that um, stole four million, a security guard who stole four million from a cash in transit car, SBV to be particular. Uh, that's the name of the company that do this funds transfer from businesses to the safety of the bank. Uh, one lady was reported to have stolen money as a security. The, the interview went on with Sunday time and what, they, what the man actually said was, it kind of, I was like, what? So basically he was asked uh, how the relationship was like. He was like, no, I was the one who was paying, I was the one who was doing everything. Uh, I'm, I was actually shocked to hear that the woman has stolen money because I was the one who was paying for everything. All of a sudden, I just got a notice that uh, I've been evicted from the from the from the application of this Mjolo <laughs> affiliation that was going on over there. Yeah, so his Mjolo career was lived very very short, and he was kicked out immediately after she became the. He said she didn't buy nothing. Four million in a pocket that she took. She didn't buy nothing. The woman was just there chilling in the he's not doing not doing too much uh, speaking of people doing too much there was the the, the sad story um it was posted by national school all about relationships 
they say that there was a wedding very recently that happened i'm gonna show you the post over here and the wife made a request for a song and the particular song that she requested for uh these are what the lyrics actually call uh, actually translate to i am dominant you will be ruled with under strict uh, instruction i will drive you crazy if you look at another woman on the street i am dominant <laughs> i am dominant and you will walk under my control that's kind of like the the lyrics of the song that the woman requested for the man said ah <laughs> This application is failing right at this moment. We are not going any further. This is where it thing, and it kind of brings back to this particular story of, um, of TD Jake's daughter, right? To say sometimes, you know, I saw that she has a course. I think she has mentorship that she does. She charges like seven hundred and fifty and stuff like that. You know, but like life is hard as it is. Eh? Yes, uh, let's not be sold soft soft copies. Of about life yeah to be made to believe something else because um, as far as we practice our Christianity or our Christian walk there are things that are outside of our control you see the daughter could not dictate or she could not tell what kind of a man she was going to lend herself in and now it sounds like she had to prioritize herself and her kids Mandem was probably weird over there okay and so to be sold the easy aspect of life and be sold the easy card of promise of life and then on the other side when you eventually cross over you find it's actually not so let's not be sold a soft copy